Hello Sunshine Seekers, my name is Nikima and we are Spain Homes. I am in Guademar de Segura, a beautiful stunning town that is located at the foot of the Segura River and overlooking pine forest, sand dunes and 12 kilometers of coastline. I have a beautiful new urbanization to show you. It is apartments, they are 80 meters squared, are two bedroom and two bathroom. So shall we go in and have a look? Let's go! through the front door entrance you are met with um, a very light bright and modern living space and you can see that it is an open plan living room dining room and kitchen the house is 80 meters squared this is a show home that I am just going to give you a tour of today to your right of the security door you have your intercom system and you also have your power box and your lights as you can see this is the open plan kitchen it is light and bright and it has that wooden accent detail in the middle where you will find your cooking hob there is also just above that your extractor hood you have a little window there to let in some natural breeze and then you also have to the right of it your cooking range which is all ERS. Here you would find your fridge and there's plenty of storage options with this central island. Um, you also have your breakfast bar to the other side of it and your sink in the middle. So in the kitchen you have your hidden built-ins of your dishwasher and then it takes you to the dining area which is set to dine four. I do like the stone flooring that they have chosen to use throughout. It gives it a very light and very seamless feel. And then it leads to your living room which is a living room that could quite comfortably uh, set a sectional. Uh, but they've just chose to do a three-seater sofa there and you have your television area. Overlooking the living room and giving you great sight lines of your surrounding area landscape, you have these double doors that are sliding and they open out onto the terrace. This open plan living area is 30 meters squared and the ceiling height is 2.7 meters. So as I take you to the hall where you will find your bedrooms, there is two bedrooms. This is bedroom number one. It is the larger of the two bedrooms. It is 13 meters squared. They have set it so that it is for two beds, but you could happily fit a double bed in here. You also have doors that open out onto your balcony, giving you views of the communal areas that is within this residential complex. And then on the other side, you will find there is your integrated wardrobes. So throughout the home, you have your electric shutters, air conditioning that is centralized and you can access from every room and underfloor heating. To my right here, we are going into the main bathroom. And this is a fully equipped bathroom with shower, sink, toilet, vanity, and illuminated mirror. You have window there to let in natural light and a clear glass shower curtain. And then we go on to the second bedroom. This bedroom has its own bathroom and the bedroom that we just had a look at was 13 meters squared. This one is a little bit smaller, it's 11 meters squared but it still gives you lots of light coming into the room. It quite happily fits a double bed. You have there your integrated wardrobes on one side and fantastic views through your sliding doors on another. 
the design of the home is light, bright, with neutral warm tones throughout. I do like how you have this, this flooring that goes all the way through. And I like the textural designs of the bathrooms. So as we show you the second bathroom, they have decided to decorate this with a slightly lighter grey tone, but still giving you the texture with the tiles. And it comes complete with your shower, toilet, sink vanity and illuminated mirror. Exploring Guadamade Sogura, I'm coming across a variety of things that are of interest to my eye. So right here, we are overlooking this impressive Torreta de Guadamar or Torre de los Americanos, which was a radio mast tower that was built by the Americans back in 1962. This is a nod to the relationship that the US and Spain used to have and probably to this day continue to have on some level. And it's really interesting because it actually is the tallest structure, not only in the Iberian Peninsula, but in the European Union, actually standing 380 metres tall. Quite impressive, I think. And I'm actually right here also in Parque de la Nora or La Nora Park. This interesting park was named after its famous pepper, which was a pepper local to this region that was used to flavour many a rice dish that many a Spaniard has come to love over the years. It is in, nestled in one of the many green spaces that you will find here in Guatemal de Segura and has an interesting landscape of being set in rugged pine forest and sand dunes which you will see spanning right across the town in various areas. Lots to explore as well because I'm really loving this interesting combination of the terracotta stone and then you have these erected walls that have got the mosaic design and curve of Gaudi really inspired I think. As we go out of the living room area through the sliding doors I'm now going to take you to the solarium which would be the second level of this home and what's wonderful about this is it gives you a beautiful space to use for outdoor living. You have a very spacious solarium with this installed pergola that gives you shade if you're wanting to dine up here. You also have multiple ways in which you can use the space. You could have a jacuzzi up here, could be another outdoor seating area, living area, even sun lounging you can do as well. And then you've also got access to your storage room and you get these fantastic views of how close we are to the, all of that beautiful water. We've got the lakes over there and we've got just this immense amount of panoramic space to view. These are the communal grounds of the properties for Area Beach El Faso. Here you have the balcony spaces and terrace spaces of the properties overlooking the communal grounds which is really nice and gives it that community feel. So on this side you can see that there is artificial lawn that is of high quality and you have your bulls stations or patanka so you've got your two stations there. It has been well adorned with palm trees that will mature over time. And it's like the fact that they have got these pathways and walkways that lead to different communal areas. So as we approach to our left, we've got a children's playground. And then you also have more of the homes on that side that give you further gardens and relaxation zones. Over to the other side, as we go around the path, you can see that there is a very large swimming pool and this swimming pool is a rectangular shape it has a shallow end and a larger deep end you also have a plunge pool area and this wealth of expanse of sun lounging terrace to boot 
So that's your jacuzzi and then your large swimming pool. And you even have a little dip area there for the children, which is more shallow. And this anti-slip paving stone that they've used throughout this terrace here, where the sun loungers will go. This swimming pool is open all year round. Is it available for the residents to use at their leisure? And you can even use all of the communal spaces in the evening because they are well illuminated. So, additional information about the property. The property tax or EB is 250 euros per year. The community fee is 85 euros per month and the refuse collection is 120 euros per year. Area Beach El Raso, I think, are the perfect option if you're looking for apartments that are either a secondary home or a holiday home. They offer modern comfort and ease and well, a wealth of amenities and facilities nearby. Located here in Guadalajara de Segura, today I showed you a show home that was a two bedrooms and two bathrooms, but they do have between 80 and 98 metre square apartments offering up to three bedrooms. They also vary in price, so they start at 249,000 and go up to 320,000. If you do like the property as well, bear in mind that you are close to fantastic points of natural interest and proximity to all the facilities and amenities that you might need and also Torre Vieja is on your doorstep. If you like this listing then please do go to our website which is spainhomes.estate there you'll find much more information about the property and also don't forget to like the video hit me with a thumbs up please and also subscribe I will see you next time and yes hasta luego